It's funny to have a book coming out. It was written quite some time back. I have all these questions like, where did all this come from? It's hard to remember how you felt when you were writing something like that. The saving grace that has kept me connected with it is that I have now written three Grouse County books about the same characters. 21 years ago the American writer Tom Drury published his debut novel, The End of Vandalism. Set in a fictionalized version of rural Iowa, where Drury himself grew up, this conversational epic of the everyday is populated by sheriffs, farmers, drifters and eccentric retirees who gather at blood drives, dances and town meetings. Drama in a dreary novel takes place in talk rather than action. I love the way that people speak, he says. Sometimes when I didn't know what was going to happen next, I would bring in a new character and see what they said. Heavily serialized in The New Yorker, an accolade in itself, the end of vandalism suggested that Drury was ready to take his place in an extraordinary generation of American novelists that would include Jonathan Franzen, Dave Eggers and David Foster Wallace, who published their own masterpieces in roughly the same period. But while the corrections, a heartbreaking work of staggering genius and infinite jest made international literary superstars of their creators, the end of vandalism, stubbornly, did not. Drury wrote five further novels, including two more set in the end of vandalism's Grouse County, Hunts in Dreams and Pacific. Franzen called Drury a big-time American talent. But the big time remained at arm's length. Reviewing a new edition of this astonishing, beautiful book last month, the Independence Sam Jordison cried, how can it not have been published in the UK until now?